Hi, my name's JP. I'm in Hue, Vietnam, and I'm traveling the world. Globalites, I only have a, a few hours <laughs> left here, and I'm heading straight to the Imperial Citadel. This was the seat of power of the Nguyen Dynasty in Vietnam. This is the, the dynasty that kind of unified what is currently now known as Vietnam. They were also the ruling power when the French came to colonize. So we're gonna go check it out. This place is often compared to the Forbidden Palace in Beijing and uh, it should be very impressive. So I can't wait to check it out. So behind me is where the emperor of Vietnam used to sit and host foreign ambassadors and ceremonies. There's no photos allowed in there, but it's a pretty ornate throne room. If you want to see more, just Google Tai Ho Palace. So let's clear up some terminology. When I walked over the bridge and walked through those big walls, that was the beginning of the Imperial Citadel. Within the Imperial Citadel is the Imperial City, which is where we are right now. This is where the Nguyen Dynasty built this huge city just for the Imperial family. And it's massive. I mean, there's just so much to see. Uh, if you could easily spend like three or four hours here. There were two wars that brought destruction to the Imperial City and a lot of the buildings are damaged or were completely destroyed, which is why you'll see lots of reconstruction here. So in this building, you can actually dress up like the emperor and sit on that throne right there. <laughs> It's kind of a tourist kitschy thing to do. So if you want to look like a Vietnamese emperor and uh, take a photo, you can. This is Dinto residence and this is actually where the mother of the queen or the grandmother of the emperor lived, depending on who was in power and what the family formation was. They had this complex all to themselves because certain parts of the imperial city were off limits to women. So why not build their own place? <laughs> so this is where royal theatrical plays are performed to this day. They, they perform them for tourists. Actors wear masks to distinguish themselves as good characters or deceitful characters or ghosts. And they combine music, art, and acting to create a very unique kind of performance. And this building was actually severely damaged during the Vietnam War. So they restored it in the 90s. Now people can enjoy the uh, traditional art forms from this time. To add more complexity to where we're currently in, within the Imperial City, which is in the Imperial Citadel, is the Forbidden Purple City. And the Forbidden Purple City is the exclusive place where the Emperor and his family resided. But a lot of the buildings here were destroyed during the wars, and behind me is where the main palace was for the Emperor. And the only thing that stands right now is the symbol of the Nguyen Dynasty, which is the dragon. Okay, so that was the Imperial Citadel slash Imperial City slash Forbidden Purple City. It was really cool to explore here. If you want to come here, the best time to come is not the time I came because <laughs> it was so hot and Hue is very humid. Try and come in the morning if it doesn't rain in the morning and have a great time. And if you come here, leave a comment down below and share with everybody your pictures and your stories about this place because I wish I had the time to see everything but unfortunately I don't I gotta get out of here so uh, anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up follow me on all the social media links are all down below and subscribe because I'm posting videos every single week while I'm in Southeast Asia thank you all so much for watching and until next time get off the couch
and go do great things. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.